Hey everyone, I'm Brett, and welcome to Nightwood Guns. I've been promising you all a comparison between the Radiant Ramjet Afterburner Compensator and the Sage Dynamics Agency Compensator for Glocks. Since I have four reviews of each compensator, I'm going to keep this kind of high level, maybe a shorter review. So if you haven't checked out those full videos yet, I'll go ahead and link them down below. And also, if you enjoy this video, found it to be helpful, the links are in the description below if you'd like to help support the channel. I always appreciate that. The fans of my books and my patrons are the ones who keep this channel going, so... I appreciate all of you. So the Radiant Compensator and the Sage Dynamics Compensator are the two comps that I recommend for any kind of serious use, be that self-defense or EDC. They were both built prioritizing reliability, simplicity, and low profile. Now, both of these compensators are absolutely incredible, and they both handle standard pressure ammunition nearly identically. It's too close to call. As far as recoil and muzzle rise goes, they perform very similarly, even if they do feel a little bit different. If I was rating them on a numerical scale of how they handle standard pressure ammunition, I'd give them both the same score, but like I said, they feel a little differently. If I had to pick a way to describe them, I would say that the Sage Dynamics Agency Comp feels a little softer, and the Radiant Comp feels a little faster. And I think the reason for that is the Sage Dynamics Comp from Agency Arms is heavier, and that weight out there at the end of the barrel I think makes it feel a little softer shooting, but also weight at the end of a barrel is going to be a double-edged sword because it makes it drop maybe a little bit in bounce at the return to battery. Versus the Radiant Compensator is lightweight, so it stays in place. So it might feel a little sharper, but it also feels faster. But really, if you shot them blind side by side, chances are you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Now where they start to separate themselves is with plus P ammunition. I suspect that the Sage Dynamics comp from Agency was designed with standard pressure ammo in mind versus the Radian really thrives on plus P ammunition. The Sage Dynamics Agency comp definitely handles plus P ammo and it compensates it effectively, but it doesn't thrive on it like the Radian does. So if you were someone who's going to be shooting plus P ammunition, the Radian's the no-brainer. As far as installation goes, the Sage Dynamics Agency Comp requires a proprietary guide rod and bushing system in order to time the compensator onto the threaded barrel. And while it's really easy to install on a scale of like zero to 10, 10 being the easiest thing ever, it's like a nine out of 10, the Radian installation is like a 10 out of 10 easy. With the Radian compensator, it's just a single T15 torque screw that you just torque down to 15 inch pounds. And since it's a taper screw, it stays in place. It is super easy to install. Speaking of the threaded barrel of the Sage Dynamics Agency Comp, it's still considered to be a threaded barrel in restricted states. Versus the Radian Compensator is just a ported barrel that locks on with a screw. Not a threaded barrel, so you can have it in any state. Another plus of the Radian is that you can get it in either Gen 5, Gen 4, or Gen 3 when the Sage Dynamics Agency Comp is just for Gen 5. Now, I mentioned the proprietary guide rod and bushing system for the Agency Arms Sage Dynamics Comp. For the Radian Comp, it runs on just an OEM recoil spring. And to me, that's a huge plus, not just because of the simplicity of, hey, it works on the factory spring, but it also opens you up to being able to use other systems. And you guys are getting kind of a preview here, but this is a DPM recoil reduction system straight out of Athens, Greece. And this thing is absolutely insane when you pair it with a compensator or ports. This thing makes me want to throw the radiant compressor in the trash can. But like I said, this is a preview. I'm going to do much more in depth. I've been testing the hell out of these. But my point is since the radiant runs on just the OEM recoil guide rod system, that means you can also plug in any other guide rod that you want. Even if you want to run like a tungsten guide rod, you can toss it in there. And if you want to make your gun an absolute monster, you can use one of these DPM recoil reduction systems. I just really like to have the freedom to play around with systems like that to make the gun as efficient as possible. Now, since the Sage Dynamics Agency Comp comes with that guide rod and bushing system, it also means that it's more expensive than the Radian Ramjet Afterburner combo, about $20 more expensive. So with the Radian, you're looking at saving 20 bucks. Other than that, both options have, you know, excellent finishes, use superb metals, and have match grade barrels. And I'll also throw on at the last second that my Radian Ramjet Afterburner has not left any marks whatsoever on the finish of my Glock but the agency comp was marking up the end of the slide that it was on. So, I mean, obviously a lot of people use their firearms as tools, so the finish getting marked up doesn't matter to them. But if you're somebody who really likes your gun to look nice, the Radian's not gonna mark up your slide as much. Oh, and the Radian Afterburner is a little bit shorter, just a hair, 
than the Sage Dynamics Agency comp. So if that's something that matters to you, which doesn't really to me, just keep that in mind. So the Radiant Ramjet Afterburner is the compensator that I decided to keep based on everything stated so far in this video. It's the one that I recommend personally. Unfortunately, they are extremely unobtainium. So I'm gonna say this, put your email in on every website that stocks this thing to be notified when it comes in stock because since getting this, I've been able to buy probably 10 more of these if I had wanted to because I'd signed up for the in-stock notification on every website. Now, if you have the Sage Dynamics Agency comp and you're all mad that I prefer the Radian, just know they are literally both the two best EDC compensators for Glocks. It's literally Godzilla versus King Kong. They are both absolutely incredible. I just give the slight edge to the Radian. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up like button. That always helps with the algorithm and leave a comment down below telling me which compensator you'd prefer to go with. Or you can just tell me that you hate Glocks because it's not gonna hurt my feelings. I have no allegiances whatsoever. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today, everyone. It was great seeing you again, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Brett, and this was Nightwood Guns. Nightwood out. Mm -hmm.